children of future of India. They contribute to the building of India as a strong and a prosperous nation. They have bright ideas, are hardworking and have a vision to do exceptionally good for themselves and for the nation. Their visions not only make them and their parents proud of them, but also the entire nation is proud of them. Today, we introduce you to Sarojini, a wonder girl. Hello Sarojini. She's just 15, studies in St. Mark's Senior Secondary Public School and has an idea which has not only changed her life, but has the power to change our lives as well. Sarojini, welcome to our show. To begin with, you were in news for some innovative idea. What was the idea about? My idea was that if watches can work on pulse, so why can't we charge the cell phones on pulse? So uh, basically I was thinking one day that if we place sensors on the edge of the uh, cell phone, those sensors will uh, receive the heat energy and the kinetic energy from our pulse and they will change into electric, uh, electric energy and which will help in uh, charging the mobile phones. And it was further modified by National Innovation Foundation that if we wear strap around our wrist, it will be automatically charged up. It is an interesting idea. How did you first come up with it? Last year when I was sitting alone in my room, a uh, cell phone was charging in front of me and I was also thinking about the watches which work on pulse. So I correlated both the things and came out with uh, an idea which was, you know, cell phone which work on pulse. So basically this was the thing. When did you introduce this idea to others? In July, when Nina Wang came to our class, it was an arrangement period. So she asked the children to give her uh, some crazy ideas. So children uh, children were giving their ideas. So I I told ma'am, ma ma'am, if uh, watches can work on pulse, why can't mobiles be ch uh, charged with the help of pulse? She said that there's a competition, Ignite. Uh, would you like to uh, participate in that? I said, yes, ma'am, of course. So at that time only, I, uh, it was the first time that I told so uh, somebody about this. You mentioned Ignite. Could you please tell our audience a little bit more about Ignite 2009? Ignite is a nationwide contest, which is held every year, I think. And it is conducted by NIF, National Innovation Foundation. And it is to bring out new ideas from the children. See, for example, me, I did not uh, tell anybody uh, before this, but when ma'am told me about the competition, this idea came out. So this is the uh, contest for the children with such crazy, uh, crazy ideas. And who motivated you to participate in the competition? It was Nina ma'am only who told me about this competition. So uh, no one motivated me actually to, uh, to participate. I just told ma'am, yes ma'am, I want to participate. But I would love to mention about my Guruji, Sarf Sri Ajatoshji Maharaj here. Ke, he, he is my mo motivation and inspiration. Now, let us talk to Sarojini Mahajan's teacher, Mrs. Nina Punj, who motivated her to participate in Ignite 2009. It was a wonderful experience. Ignite is a platform that really gives wings to your thoughts. It makes you feel that impossible says, I am possible. From my school, two students had participated. Maybe this time, Srojani has been lucky and she got the consolation prize. But I really want that every year, more and more students should participate in this competition, which where you can just give your ideas, even weird ideas, that will be made working. Chances are there and your dreams may come true. I'm very happy for her. Srojani told me about her idea and I really liked it. We really thought, like if we are holding a mobile and talking to somebody, we have heat energy in our body and energy can be transformed in any other form. So we thought if we apply some kind of, you know, small uh, chips or appliances or some kind of small things there in mobile which can absorb this energy and transform it, so it can be charged when you are talking to somebody. This idea, we gathered the information and what, whatever was possible, we sent it. They modified it in the form of strap. So I think this idea, even Stanford University, they liked this idea and it clicked to them. I'm sure they would be working on it and one day it would be in our hand. Same, while talking, we'll be able to charge the mobiles. And your dreams may come true. I'm very happy for her. 
she got appreciation letter from my principal. She got awarded consolation prize at NIF through Ignite only and was awarded by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. She was given prize by Dr. Manmohan Singh, our Prime Minister. So if she can make her dream come true, her other children can also do so. So wishing her very best of luck. What was your reaction when you first heard about the results? You know, on uh, 14th October, when ma'am told me, Ki, Sarojini, you have, uh, your idea has been clicked by Stanford University, I said, ma'am, are you serious? So this was the first reaction. <laughs> and she, uh, she congratulated me. I was shocked, actually. What, according to you, was the best part of Ignite? Stanford uh, selected the idea and decided to further develop this idea. And uh, the, I got the prize from Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Even though your achievements show that you have a liking for science, which is your favorite subject? It's actually science. You know, whenever I study in my class, no, a, teach, uh, a science teacher comes, I feel the subject is mine. <laughs> the subject is actually mine. What are your hobbies? What all do you do except thinking out of the box? Nothing as such, but I uh, love listening to music. I, re I love to read science books also. And uh, I, for a part time, you can say I love to dance also. I, I do meditation also. After the Ignite success, has your life changed? The life did not change as such. But I'm the same girl who is shy and who do not get mixed up with the surroundings. It just one thing happened that I became quite po popular among my teachers. <laughs> What career would you like to choose from now? Something related to science? Obviously, but I, I haven't decided yet what to do in future. Sarojni, we wish you all the very best. May all your dreams come true. But before we wind up, any messages for the audience? I feel uh, children should think out of the box and whatever, whatever they have in their mind, they should bring, uh, bring out. They should be telling to their teachers and or parents. Thank you, Sarojini, for coming to our show. This was Sarojini Mahajan, a wonder girl. And you too, dream, think out of the box. Maybe your dreams come true as well.